Hi guys, I'm Doggone. Welcome back to the Utopia Baseball League. Uh, just a quick overview of the Key West minor league system and uh, some moves that I made today. All right, as you can see, our minors over here, Little Rock Pelicans, one game behind in second place, Durham Peacocks, nine games behind in second, and the Fremont Palms, five games behind in second place, all in second place so far this year. I don't track this too much except when I'm um, when my big league club is not doing too great then I kind of focus on these guys on the big league club you can see who's hot Jerry Armstrong who's not nobody Rodney Duncan has a day-to-day -day, uh, ankle sprain I kind of pulled him out of the lineup and put uh, Barry Cummings in his place uh, Miguel Havoc Gonzalez is still out for six more days he'll be back after the next sim and I've got to figure out who to take off my 25 man roster to make room for Havoc. I uh, also made a trade today and I'll get to that in one second. Uh, Todd Carpenter uh, is out. Uh, he's pretty much done for the season when he comes back he'll stay he'll go back to the minor leagues and probably stay there for the rest of the year. Roger Green's gonna be a quandary when he comes back. Um, he'll be back just about the trade deadline so I'm curious. He's fragile. He sustained a a pretty tough injury, so uh, a broken bone in his elbow. We'll see. We'll just have to see if he comes back. Uh, my starter's ERA fell to second place in the league. Uh, I think Madison took over at top. Um, good news is we haven't yet stolen another base. Our batting average is at third now. Uh, just, I think we're one percentage point behind someone. Um, and uh, we can probably check that in a second. But anyway, we're doing good. Uh, Still clicking along, clicking along, clicking along. Nashville has dropped two games behind Charles, uh, behind Richmond in the uh, wild card race, and Charleston's another game behind Nashville. Uh, Little Rock. <clears throat> the Pelicans are led in batting by first baseman Brian Foster. Uh, he was not a homegrown guy. He was a find from the uh, minor league free agency. Bang Zhao Ng claimed him off waivers uh, from someone can't remember who uh, he's hitting very well he's really progressing well Dan Regnier came from Oklahoma and um, sorry about that smart hours for stupid people um, Dan Regnier came from Oklahoma in uh, part of a trade I forget which trade short-term memory problems but anyway um, he's a catcher prospect I I'm in need of catchers I really, I really want a good big time catcher. Uh, Mark Combs is doing okay for us, but I, I want somebody else uh, that I can grow around. Uh, home runs. Jose Garcia continues to bomb it for AAA and RBIs. Uh, Garcia has a classic home run type profile. Over in the pitching, Mario Nunez just was called up to our big league club, and I'll get to why in just a second. I passed over Richard Woods for now. Um, a little bit more time in AAA won't hurt him. Plus, I can delay his clock a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, and Romero Rivas has not been having a good year. Uh, current injuries. Mm. Um, by the way, Richard Woods, at every level he's been at, he just gets it done. You know, he doesn't have the most glamorous ratings, but Fremont, Durham, and now in Little Rock, you can still see he's got the Durham yellow on his collar. Uh, now at Little Rock, he's just getting it done. The guy, he just performs at every level. So I'm really looking forward to his call up to the bigs. He was slated to be our uh, fourth or fifth starter uh, back in the preseason, but we've since acquired Jose Cantu and Carlos Gonzalez. Um, so. I don't know. I don't really particularly have room for him in my rotation, but he could certainly spot start for us. I would just have to figure out who to send down. Xavier Padilla. He's our former first and third baseman, our former starting third baseman. Uh, we traded him to uh, Raleigh, and he's back on. He was back on the free agents, uh, free agent wires, and we snatched him up to a minor league contract. So, oh, Xpad is down in our minor league system in Little Rock, just waiting for us to. Uh, call them up if we need them. That's good to have. I like to have a few insurance guys in AAA. In fact, that's pretty much what I do in AAA is I, I, 
stock it with guys that I'm ready to call up at any time. And I'll get back to that point in just a minute. Uh, the lineup, uh, let's see, Hanson has come and gone out of our major league lineup. Howe was a find out in uh, the free agency, minor league free agency. Will be, uh, he's maybe ready to go to the big leagues. Garcia, just about all these guys. Brett Spencer was a recent call up from Double A. Frank Schmidt has been up on our big club and sent back down. And Ken Forbes was uh, another find out, I believe, in minor league free agency. Kevin Adams is doing well. He stabilized himself in AAA. He's trying to make a case for a call up. Uh, we'll see. Ernest Whitley, I just sent him down. Um, he doesn't like it too much, but tough, tough titty, Ernest Whitley. Lonnie Dowler is a journeyman. Chris Cole um, signed him to a minor league con contract, and he might actually see time in, in the bigs later this summer. Uh, Masuki is uh, just really crunching out the saves. <laughs> good, good guy. Got him in a trade uh, with Gator earlier in the year. Roberto Gaete is not happy and is not performing really well after being sent down from the UBL. Andrew Graham, up and coming closer, not doing so great in Little Rock as of yet. Donald Curry, another uh, minor league guy we hired just for insurance. Uh, yeah, so that's Little Rock. They're doing well. Uh, good contact club, not so good at the home runs. If we were to lose Jose Garcia, we'd easily drop to eighth in home runs. Uh, pitching is okay, kind of mediocre. Runs against, that's the main thing. Runs against and runs for. Those are the main stats that you care about. Durham. Down in DAA Durham. The Durham Peacocks, right outside of, uh, uh, just in the... Uh, the slums around the Raleigh Stealths Major League Park. Durham, uh, with all of our parrot spies up there. Durham's nine games back behind Tucson. I don't know who Tucson is. Vancouver, British Columbia. Okay. Wow. Joe Ford. Good night. That's one guy I passed up in a draft. Scott is another one I passed up in a draft. Hmm. I tend to pass up the big bats. I'm slowly learning my lesson here. Uh, Robert Howe, you saw him on the AAA roster. He was a recent, uh, there he is. He was just a recent send up to AAA, call up to AAA. Uh, Robbie Williams is uh, slowly making time in AA while he um, comes up to his ratings. Uh, like this guy, I project him to be our second baseman of the future. Just got him cooking down in Durham. Brett Spencer was just sent up. Uh, Patrick Girard has done nothing but perform, outperform his ratings. Uh, and so I finally sent him up from Fremont to uh, AA. He continues to do well. Jeremy Blaise is another overperformer. Uh, let's see. Blaise, 225 in AA. And uh, where'd Girard go? I don't see him. Oh, well. Alan Buckland. Uh, I can't remember where this guy came from. I think I I don't remember. Um, Sandy Long was a free agency pickup, as was Bubba Williams, as was Kaz Meckley. Uh, Jorge Cervantes is currently out. He's if he can stay healthy, he'll be a good pitcher. Clyde Poirier, Poir, Poir, Poirier, Poirier um, was a Canadian find by Howard International Fine. Alfredo Gomez, I uh, found this guy out in free agency, picked him up, signed him to a minor league contract. He's doing great. Uh, I really enjoy going out and looking for the minor leaguers, uh, the ones who look like they could perform for us and seeing how they do. Alan Kraus is hitting well for us in Fremont. Floyd Daniels is hitting the taters. Lester Willis, our first pick, I think he was our 2-2 pick this past season, is really doing the job for us, knocking in 32 runs. It took him a while to settle in, but he's now hitting 257 for us. Uh, what else? Uh, in the rotation, Brad Weeks is a journeyman. Uh, Gerardo Gonzalez is a recent find. William Williams was a draft, a low draft pick a few years ago. Um, none of these guys really project to be big leaguers. Uh, with possible exception, possible exception of William Williams. Don't know. I think Williams has peaked, though, and he's falling back down. You can see in uh, Fremont as well, we tend to hit for contact, but not for power. 
and we have a good bullpen not so great in starting rotation that's because when guys do well in Fremont I move them on up and I haven't uh, I've been trading away all my draft picks so I don't have uh, guys my Fremont roster is depleted of um, a future UBL stars so need to get back into drafting again I can't do it before uh, 2020 at this rate though so yeah um, looking good all good here nobody really specifically to mention now let's go back up and talk about uh, Key West uh, some moves let's go into where are the reports uh, reports let me see here let me find it hold on let me pause it while I find the right report okay I'm back just um, clicked on reports and I'm looking for all transactions here we go uh, a lot of transactions I recalled Mario Nunez from AAA Little Rock. Why did I do that? Because I designated Fernando Beltran for waivers, for assignment, put him on waivers. Um, he has not done well with our club, and I'm tired of uh, waiting for him. I got a short trigger on him. On players like him, I have a short trigger. He's 31. He has great stuff, according to Howard. Mediocre movement and control, but he's just not getting it done for Key West, and I don't have patience for uh, uh, bullpen guys who don't get it done. Michael Hubbard was a uh, outside chance. He came back with um, 35 control. I don't have room for a guy like that on my uh, roster. I say that. I say that. And Jason Piper has 35 control. And he's doing great. But, uh, you know, it's very risky. I put these guys both out on waivers. And um, anybody needs them, come grab them. I need that money off my roster so I can do some extensions. Uh, also released uh, some minor leaguers you guys may find interesting. Uh, Pedro Maave, Justin Ariano, Keith Black, Brian Dickinson. I don't know why I signed Brian Dickinson. Anastasio Gonzalez, Fernand Crespo. Here's the three you want to look at closely. These three pitchers, Fred Cox, Ramiro Rivas, and Ramon Lopez. Um, I let them all go because they've been in our system for a while and they were just kind of rotting down in AAA, and um, I really had no room for them. So um, uh, they had no real future on our big league club, uh, and when a guy comes to that point that he's in my AAA squad, he's got no real future at, in the bigs, it's time to move him. So, uh, so that's why I moved him. Moved them. And, um, okay, so I made room uh, with Beltran on my roster. I pulled up Nunez from Little Rock. And uh, so, um, let's see, let's go take a quick look at our rosters. All right, uh, let's see, sorted by betting average. Let's just look for a moment at pitchers. So I've got uh, 13 pitchers on my roster at the moment. Uh, you can see uh, Frank Guerrero, Ramon Ramos, Jack Johnson lead us in innings pitched. Uh, Jose Cantu is creeping up there in innings pitched. He was a um, reliever for Louisville. I'm going to, um, I've already moved uh, Romas out of the rotation temporarily. Uh, I'll be removing all these guys out of the rotation temporarily, putting them in the bullpen uh, for a week or two at a time just to get them some, um, you know, some midseason rest. I think it's really important to do that every month or so. You know, just be in a constant cycle of um, using your spot starter or your sixth man in the rotation uh, to relieve these guys. And for us, it was uh, Christian Roy, r lately acquired from Raleigh. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, so that's uh, sort of my methodology. Mario Nunez was just called up, and he'll be doing the same role. He'll be... I had to pause for a yawn. He'll be um, working as sort of the sixth man in the rotation, giving these guys some rest. So uh, let's see. That's the pitching for now, the batting for now. Rodney Duncan's on a day-to-day. -day. Um, I really debated bringing up another uh, outfielder. I got several who would be just fine. Havoc's supposed to get off the DL here in a week. Um I need a fourth outfielder at all times, and uh, we'll just have to see about that. I, the thing that, one nice thing though, is Juan Lopez gives us that outfield flexibility because he can play both 
corner outfield positions excellently. Uh, John Hickey, I could not uh, bear to uh, send him down, and you can see why. He's hitting for a 339, 379, 548 splits. This guy's a rookie. Um, I acquired him in the offseason from OU, and um, man, he's even got a tater to his to his name. He's doing well. The, the kid has really adapted well. Uh, unfortunately for Hickey, I've got guys down in uh, AAA and AA who look, ratings-wise, even better. So um, Bang Zhao Ying and uh, Robbie Williams are both going to be competing with John Hickey. I've also got Frank Schmidt, who did just fine in his uh, audition last year in, at second base. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of loaded with UBL-ready young second basemen. Uh, they are sort of kind of on the uh, on the trading block, sort of kind of. It'd take a good offer for them to, to, to cut loose of one. Um, let's see, Jerry Armstrong's hot. Kenyo is happy to be back. I'm happy to have him back, 302. Yeah. Flint Townsend is new. I got him from Gator in a trade. Uh, he was the main piece in the trade in, in my uh, – he was the main piece I was going for in that particular trade. He's not performed well, but he's a kid. And uh, his name is not Abdirahman Rist. So he's actually an excellent defensive catcher. And he uh, spells uh, Mark Combs every so often. Uh, you can see he's Townsend now has 17 games to his credit. And um, uh, how many is that? That's about every fourth day or so that he gives Combs a rest. So that's good. I like that. It'll prolong Combs' career and durability. Uh, Juan Lopez continues to boss it up. And... Um, Russ McLean, man, talk about underperforming. This guy's dramatically underperforming his ratings. And I'm kind of wondering, starting to wonder, if a guy continues to underperform his ratings, will his ratings drop to match his performance? Or will his performance rebound at some point to match the ratings? You know, I, I don't know. Um, I know Rick Hamilton uh, didn't do so well last year. But he um, he has really bounced back this year. I mean, good night hitting 307, 362. For my utility guys, really all I look for is uh, the primary thing I look for is this on base percentage. Uh, Townsend, if he gets it up to a 300 on base percentage, I almost don't care what his batting average is unless a much better option comes along. So um, anyway, good night, Dalton. I, what do you say about Dalton? Leading the league in batting average and on-base percentage. Whew. That's good stuff right there. You know, this this kind of stuff is slowly making me a believer in the big bat, the big bat theory. Um, I've always been a pitching and defense guy, as you guys have known. But, uh, man, a, a big bat like this really can, you know, yeah, it can lift that whole lineup. And look at the surge it's giving to all these other bats around him. Yeah, so... All right, well, uh, I'll keep this, uh, go ahead and cut this short. But um, So I've got 13 pitchers and 12 uh, batters on my roster. I'm going to have to send somebody down to make room for Havoc. So we'll just have to see. Might even be Duck Hunter. Kind of doubt it, but maybe a send down is the wake-up call he needs, right? All right, guys, that's uh, Key West, and uh, that's our moves. And look for these guys out on the waivers. And on the minor league free agency. I think uh, Raleigh especially. So there are some guys you might want to take a chance on here, Raleigh. And uh, everybody who doesn't hoard prospects, I should say. <clears throat> uh, let's, keep our, uh, let's keep our minor leagues trimmed down so everybody gets time and everybody has a chance at these guys. And they don't, uh, they don't waste away without, uh, without innings. And this is what I'm talking about right here in the... Miners, you can see I've got 28 guys in AAA. That's, you know, that's three over. But okay, I got 25 guys in Durham and 27 in Fremont. Trying hard to, uh, you know, if guys are ready to move up, I'll move them up and uh, give them a, a year or so at their next level. If they still don't perform and their ratings just don't uh, look like they're going to cut the mustard, then I cut them loose at whatever, you know, whatever level they're at. Uh, one thing I don't do. Uh, and this is, I guess, as much role-playing as anything. I don't like to demote guys. Once they get to AAA, they're either going to stay there 
come up to our UBL club or get released. I'm not going to demote them down to double A uh, almost ever. So um, I may do it once in a while if double A, like if the rotation is shorthanded, if uh, don't have a full pitching roster in Durham, it's possible I may send a guy from AAA down there. But basically it's a one-way trip from Fremont, either up or out, Durham, up or out, Little Rock, uh, Little Rock, up, perform, or out. So, um, and uh, guys like uh, Romero Rivas had, um, let's see, transactions overview. Is that it? Yeah. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Transactions reports, that's the one I wanted. Yeah, guys like Rivas and Ramon Lopez. I actually thought both of these guys would be big league UPL pitchers at one point. And uh, they just got to AAA and could not elevate their game. So, anyway, look for those guys. They might could help you out. All right, bye.